This is how to use a Bluetooth in this particular program. We can set the flow rate here with this knob. And we'll notice that the flow rate is indicated here. We're going to engage the Bluetooth by selecting Bluetooth, which is a LabVIEW program. We can show you what's available. We also show the code. We're now going to look at the devices and uh, printers that happen to be connected and paired. So here we have the properties. This particular Bluetooth is a hardware that's also enumerated as a COM port. Doesn't need to be a COM port in this particular case. We can uh, pair it now, as it says here. If it's already paired, we don't need to. Now we're asking Windows to search for the Bluetooth devices that exist according to this diagram. We have a Bluetooth device. We initialize it. Here we have selected the system has found a Bluetooth device and the device name we know is connected. We're going to say connect to the device and now the device will make the connections to the flow meter and start reading the live values. The live values that can be edited by changing the flow. You see we've made the flow go down here and the uh, total and the rate will indicate as well. So the total and rate will indicate. We can change the scaling by pushing these buttons to set whatever we want. These are the registers we can read. This is the code of how we initialize the Bluetooth. This is how we sign on to the Bluetooth. In the code example, you can see how, how we make the initialize a connection. We say what we want to talk to and then um, notice that this blue is what's, this is what's within that blue area. 219 is the total value, which is just red as a number. So here is, um, again, are just the raw readings. So you can also uh, change the um, rate in which it's measuring these, the bytes, um, delays before and after. So this looks very noisy, but it's just very grainy.